Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be making a multiplication table. So as always, we always start off with the function, define function, which is the multiplication table function. And we're going to have two variables for this example. And I want to say this is purely simple. You can always modify it and make it better in the future. But this is just, you could say like a, a stepping stone or like a the beginner step and then you can modify it as you want. So we're going to start off, like I said, with the function, and then we're going to have two variables. So the first variable is going to be the number, and the second is going to be the limit. The number is going to be the number that you want the multiplication table for, and the limit is going to be how much you want to go up to. So basically, if we have the number 5, we want to display 5 times 1, times 2, times 3, times 4, all the way up till what? and that's where the limit comes in so let's start off with a basic input so we're going to say int because it's going to be accepting an integer so int input and then we're going to prompt the user to input a number so enter a number to generate and then for the limit we're going to also ask for another input of an integer which is going to be input after that, we're going to have a basic print statement just to make things a little bit clean. So it's going to be a printf statement and it's going to be printf and then. So basically, this is going to be displaying multiplication table four, and then it's going to give the number that you gave. And then after that, we will make a simple for loop in the for loop. We will have four I in range. And what's going to be the range? It's going to be from 1 to limit. And then we're going to say plus 1. Because in Python, if you don't do plus 1, in this case, it will always be 1 short. So if we enter the limit as 10, it'll go up to 9. Because it just does that. Because it starts off from 0. And in this case, we're making it start by 1, but it still does it. So I'm not really sure why, but that's just the case. So... And then we want to say print f, of course, print f, and then it's going to say the number times whatever i is at the moment, because it's going to be incrementing by 1, and all the way up to the limit, of course, and we're going to say number, again, times i. So it's going to be the number. It's going to display number times i. So what if the number is 5, it's going to display 5 times 1, and then 5 times 2, 5 times 3, 5 times 4, whatever, all the way up to the limit. And then it's going to say equals. After every one, it's going to say the number. It's going to give you the, the product, basically, of the number times i. And let's just run it to make sure it works. So make sure the indentation is good. And then we call the function. And... Let's see. Okay, enter a number to generate its multiplication table. So let's say 9. And then enter the limit you want to go up to. Let's say 10. Okay. So 9 times 1, 9 times 2. And as you can see, this is all correct. Let's try it again. 4 times up to, uh, let's say, up to 5 only. So there you go. So if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see more of and I'll see you guys in the next one.